I don't know how how to start this just by uh, after coming off of a series like that. No intro. I'm just gonna start like this. Uh, Victor, really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, like I said, tough way to go down today. Season's over. Losing the C9. Just gotta ask you, how are you feeling? Terrible. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, um, terrible. We look terrible. We look terrible up until twelve. We look, or sorry, we look so we looked good until up until twelve five, and then every round after that was just terrible. I mean, I could not ask you the follow up. I mean, what went wrong? Twelve five up. I mean, it looked like the series was well in your position possession. What went wrong? Miscommunications, uh, a lot of miscommunication on many rounds, multiple inst- multiple instances of miscommunication. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much right. That boils down to we just we choked at twelve five, and we later got scared to win. Um, and then. I think probably like probably almost every single round after twelve five just some people someone didn't know something that someone else said or mm-hmm. I I really don't know. I just no excuses. I, I just, we just sucked. I mean when C nine was in the midst of that comeback and um they were, you know, pulling off a, a string of rounds, I mean uh, did you sense a kind of like? Did you feel that sense of just a uh, shift in just mentality and just just having that just then lead to you guys not playing as your usual souls earlier on in that in in that map? Sorry, I, I didn't hear. Sorry, what? When C9 was beginning to pull to to make that comeback, winning off a string of of round wins earlier on. Um, did you feel that sense of just um, shift, mental shift, mechanical shift, team collective shift uh, from your point of view? And also, in, in addition to that, how did that kind of affect the team, you know, especially at the very end there? Uh, yeah, I think I think when it started getting close, like probably like 12, 8, 12, 9, somewhere around there, uh, I think it was the pressure was like coming up on us, like they might make a comeback on us. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't really think. I mean, I just feel like the, when it felt like they were coming back on us, they got to us and it made us play worse than we normally did, or than than we normally do. Uh. I mean, props to them honestly for making a good comeback on us. Yeah. Uh, as I said. You guys were in a position to make that happen. Fortunately, you weren't able to finish the series, and as a result, you're now eliminated from from VCT uh, this year. Just sort of about that elimination. Just I mean, how are you feeling about that? Uh, terrible. I mean, I think this is the worst year for all of us um, in terms of results. Uh, why have you for for our or sorry? This is the worst year for all of us for uh since we started playing Valorant, I think. Just the worst for our results, like worse in terms of results. Um the situation we made us we made a huge roster change literally smack in the middle of the season. Um Yeah. Uh even like the wins we get don't feel that good, to be honest. And we just lose a bunch of games due to like weird weird problems happening or weird problems that we have or just miscommunication or whatever it is uh but our wins don't even feel that clean to be honest or didn't feel feel that clean when we won um and our losses are always to ourselves i feel like we always just lose to ourselves every time we have i feel like we have the capability to win these games um yeah like if it was a scrim, like if we're up to five, there's nowhere not we're not getting our single round after that. So, just 
losing to ourselves, to be honest. Because of the scheduling of, of Stage 2, you guys basically played the entire season within the space of a week uh, today and then a few days ago, you know, two matches during Super Week. Uh, how difficult was, was that you know, for you guys in particular to having to get through that kind of window in, on such a short amount of time and just having to, you know, try to play well amidst, you know, fitting some and FNS back into the team uh, with so little time compared to other teams? Uh, sorry, what was the last part that you said? Just fitting six, fitting some and FNS back into the team with with little time. What's the question? Like, it was it hard? Or? Yeah, uh, how hard was it for you guys to play within you know these past three games, given the fact that it was within a week? Um, I don't think it was that hard to slot them back in. Uh, they're playing their roles that they used to play already. And we already know them as people and as teammates, so it all it came down to was just playing catch up uh, to the rest of the teams in terms of just our gameplay and our macro and just like comps too, uh, which we did. We just we took a took a a month of practice without any days off, uh, so seven days a week, eight eight to nine hours a day, and. I mean, I feel like we're pretty caught up to the meta, like as a team together. Uh, but I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I think it showed like we were up twelve five, so like we must have been doing something right. So and then we just crumble at the last possible moment. So I mean, I feel like we were caught up, and I I feel like we are capable. It's just we d can't do it. We can't do it, or we can't finish close out when things need the right game needs to be closed out. And I honestly don't know what that comes down to. Like I don't know, I don't know why or how to like fix that. Um, yeah. Taking a look at NRG's entire uh, 2024 season, I've had the the opportunity to talk to you many times, in addition to plenty of other to your other teammates, plenty of times also. Um, and gave, gave me a, a lot of information as to how the team's performing and it's high times, low times, um, as we now sit here uh, at the end of NRG season for you. I mean, take it, try, trying to reflect on what happened, what do you think was the biggest issue overall that led to this? Honestly, don't have us like one answer for like the whole year. I mean, uh, we just have a totally separate set of issues with this iteration of the roster than last. Um, last roster, we're obviously having role issues, uh, and we're obviously having like trouble getting everyone on the same page. Um, for so that was last roster. Um, this roster. I mean, like, I honestly don't know. We should be, like, this last game we should have won. I mean, I don't think I don't think we should have beat Sentinels. Like, we had a chance, I guess, but, like, we, I don't think we were at the level yet where, or at the time, I don't think we were at the level where we could have beat Sentinels. Um, for G2, they also completely outplayed us. I think they just showed that they were, they were on a different level than us at the time. So, but I think, like, Leading up to this game and the crew game, I think we were improving pretty rapidly, um, and we were like solidifying our map pool. Like we didn't, we don't really have any maps that are significantly significantly weaker than the others. Like I think our map pool is pretty good. Uh, I I mean, oh no, I I think we were like we were very ready for these for this game, uh, leading up to it. Like we just lost we just lost because we couldn't close and we were doing everything right up until that 12-5 moment and then every round after that was just like tragedy yeah. going over to the future um what's next for you simple question what's next for you uh honestly don't know i mean i would like to continue competing um I'm a free agent next year, uh, as everyone knows. 
Uh, so I don't know how that's what's gonna happen. I don't know if Energy's gonna want to keep me, or I don't know. I I haven't given them much thought to be honest. I was gonna ask that. Do you see the potential of you returning to Energy next year? Uh, for sure. I mean, for sure. I mean, if they want me, like, uh, I'll, I'll talk with them obviously, and we'll see how it goes there. What about for the for your teammates? I I believe Crash is you know your teammate been with you yeah. the entire way. I mean, is it also going to be like, you know, wherever you go, he goes as well? Uh, yeah, he's a free agent as well next year. Um, but, I mean, it's it's a hard, duos are a hard sell nowadays because uh, a lot of teams have, like, their roster solidified. If they're making, if any team's looking to make a change, it's probably not two changes um, because that's a lot. Like, two changes is a lot. Uh so we'll see. I mean, I don't have a de definitive answer. So uh, yeah, I mean, I, all I can say is I'm going to be a free agent next year, and we'll see what happens there. Yeah, for sure, um, Victor. It's been a pleasure just talking to you over this entire year, giving me this chance from the start before kickoff to the very end, even today, right now. You know, you taking the time and just talking to me uh, despite this loss, it, it really means a lot. Um, no, no, I got no more questions. Do you have anything, any final words to say to like anyone that's oh, yeah. watching? Uh, any to our any of our supporters or all of our supporters. Uh, there was hope, and I'm really sorry that, it, like at the very last moment, we just crumbled and choked. Uh, had we won this game, there was like a chance, a decent chance for us to make playoffs. Uh, so yeah, I'm really sorry. Like it's just inexcusable. It's losing twelve five up is just—I uh, don't think that's ever happened to me. So today, so I'm really sorry that we fumbled at the very last at the very last moment, and hopefully y'all can keep supporting. Victor, thank you so much uh, during this. Uh, best of luck uh, wherever you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you, man. Time. Yeah. <laughs> See you.